Yeah! yeah. Wonderful. Yay! Bravo. Thank you very much. So tarantulas hunt their prey on the ground? Yep. Whoa. Whoa. Cool. cool. <laughs> I didn't know tarantulas even had fangs. All spiders do. Wow. Right. Or that they were venomous. Yeah, we should be careful. Tarantulas are not very dangerous to people. A bite would be kind of like a bee sting. Still. Yeah, totally. Let's be careful. Oh! Hey, look! There goes our tarantula! Oh. It must be hunting. Looking for insects. But tarantulas don't just eat insects. Take a look at this. House! Is the mouse going to eat the tarantula? Watch! The tarantula tried to eat the mouse. That's amazing! I think tarantulas are totally amazing. Hunting their prey on the ground instead of a web? A spider that does things differently. Which kind of gives me an idea about our game of dodgeball. That we can't play because Nash lost his ball. Sorry! It's okay, Nash. What if we do things differently like the tarantula? Yeah! <laughs> okay, Polos, we want to play dodgeball, right? Right. So much. But we don't have a ball. Nope. Absolutely no ball. But we do have all of this stuff. And if we just think about it differently, maybe we can find something here to use. After all, we can dodge anything we want. You're right. Let's see what we've got. Dodge bike helmet? Too hard. Dodge sunglasses? They'll break. Dodge water bottle? Too splashy. Dolphin! Dodge dolphin? Well, it is nice and soft. It won't break. It will be easy to catch. I think we just found a way to play dodgeball differently. Dodge dolphin! underwater, with just their nose and eyes sticking out so that they can breathe and see. That one was totally underwater. They must be able to hold their breath for a while. Hippos can stay underwater for up to five minutes at a time. And they can even sleep underwater and automatically come up to breathe without waking up. Wow! Oh, amazing! Hey, look! Oh! That hippo was really swimming fast. Wait a minute. 
Is it really swimming? Whoa! Wait till you see this. <gasps> it's running! Underwater! It's called an underwater gallop. Like a horse's gallop? Exactly. Now that's a surprise. Surprise! Yes. In fact, the word hippopotamus means river horse. That oh, is cool. I love that. Hippos are really surprising animals, aren't they? Well, what about you, Chester? What's the most surprising thing that you can do? Well... Oh, yeah, Chester! Go, Chester! Yeah. Go, Chester! Wait, if they're such fast runners, how come they're just laying around? Cheetahs don't run for fun. They run to hunt animals for food. So, if we want to see it run, guess we should find something cheetahs run after, like gazelles. There's one. I think it's creeping up on its prey. But wait, I don't see any prey. It's watching and waiting for the right time to pounce. Ooh, look over there. Whoa. A gazelle! Wow, look at it go! The cheetah is fast, but so are the gazelles. I think I got the cheetah's whole run. Let's check out the footage in slow motion. The cheetah picks up speed so quickly, and it accelerates just like I did. Look at its leaping strides. Its claws help it grip the ground so that its feet don't slip around when it runs. It says here that the cheetah's claws stay out all the time. They never fully retract. It's the only cat that does that. Let's see what the speed tracker says about how fast it's going. It was running as fast as a car driving on a highway. Zoom! Now that is fast. Cheetahs are amazing runners. Plus, I like their faces. Those black marks under their eyes are cool. Those markings are called teardrops. They help keep the sun from glaring in their eyes so they can see where they're going. You know, I think I'm ready to try another run. I put black under my eyes to block out the sun's glare. I'm stretching so that I can take long strides. And my shoes have spikes like claws, so that it won't slip. Ready? Time to run like a cheetah. Go! Cheetah Lily! <laughs> awesome! Yay! Way to go! <sighs> Whoa! That was your fastest time ever! Way to go, Lily! Thanks, Willow. Thanks a lot for helping me learn to run faster, Cheetah, old buddy. And now I'm gonna do something else that cheetahs do. What's that? Lay down. <sighs> okay, got it. That doesn't look right. <sighs> Nash! Give them a heads up. Right. <gasps> Is that Marco? Way. Ah. Phew, that was close. Mole cats! There are a lot of them. Several meerkats can live in one burrow, but the whole group can be as many as 40. Lots of meerkats. Their burrows are connected by underground tunnels. Look! Babies! Right! They all work together to take care of their young and to get food for everyone. You mean 40 breakfasts, 40 lunches, and 40 dinners every day? Yeah, they hunt small rodents, lizards, insects, even poisonous scorpions. But they eat fruit too. Look, they're all standing with their backs to each other around the burrow. They guard their burrows to protect them from predators. Keep their babies safe? I think so. At 
know when something comes around, they give each other the heads up to let all the other meerkats know that something is coming. a big ball of poop. You don't think it's gonna eat it? Ew. Ew! Uh, let's look it up. It's a dung beetle. Dung? What's that? Dung is another word for poop. And yes, it's going to eat it. Yuck! Why? It says here that whenever an animal eats something, not all of it gets digested. Some tiny undigested bits end up in its dung. And that's what dung beetles eat? Yes. They also get water from the dung. Okay. This time I'm going to say it. Eee yuck. Where's it going? Yeah. If they're going to eat dung, why not eat it right here? Yeah, there's plenty. They bury it so they can eat it later? And they lay their eggs in the dung balls. It looks like it's working really hard. That ball is huge in comparison to the beetle. Dung beetles are the strongest insect. It can move a ball over a thousand times its weight. That's like you pulling a school bus, Nash. Wow. But that's not all. Dung beetles help the environment of the savanna by burying and eating tons of dung produced by other animals. You mean they help to keep this place clean? Yes. Plus, flies lay eggs and dung. So by eating and burying so much of it, the dung beetles stop the fly eggs from hatching. So, fewer flies. That's amazing. Actually, dung beetles are amazing. Dung beetle, dung beetle, dung beetle, dung beetle, dung beetle, dung beetle. Dung beetle. They've got a dirty job that someone's gotta do. They're small but mighty and they're tidy too. We're lucky there's a bug that's willing to lug around so much poop. They go to work every single day with a tumbling dance that looks like play. But if you had to do a job with poo, would you? I brought my hat. Here, my hat. You brought it in your backpack? Mm-hmm. Wow, thanks, Nash. High five, buddy. Whoa! Oops. <clears throat> How about I carry that for a bit? <sighs> I'm so hot. Whew. I'm sweaty. I'm hot and sweaty. Oh, I wish I brought some water. Ah, water! Wawa, Wawa, for everybody! Thanks, Nash. Maybe bringing that 
backpack wasn't such a bad idea. Actually, it's turning out to be a really great idea. Hey, look! Rhinos? They're still a little far. Yeah. Perfect. Thanks, Nash. Yup. Let's go. Don't forget the backpack. I got it, buddy. I'll help. They're big. One of the biggest land animals. Elephants are the biggest. Rhinos are so big that nothing around here eats them. Uh, what's up with those little birds? It looks like they're pecking at the rhinos' backs. Seeding bugs. I think you're right, Nash. The birds are picking bugs off the rhinos and eating them. I've heard of them. They're called oxpeckers. They help the rhinos by keeping them free of bugs. And the rhinos help the oxpeckers by giving them a source of food. No wonder the rhinos let the oxpeckers peck them. They're both getting something they need. Just like Nash helped us out today. Yeah, we never would have made it to see the rhinos without Nash and his backpack. And Nash would have never made it here with his backpack without everyone helping to carry it. I wonder what else he's got in there. <laughs> Whoa! Stuff! Teddy, bouncy ball, helmet, socks, book, flippers. My stuff! <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we better help Nash get all of his stuff back into his backpack. And get it all the way back to the polo mobile. Right. Another hot, sweaty, thirsty hike to... Right over there! We barely left the polo mobile. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 